year player who transferred from Drexel, Tori Hajduk. She's got an ankle issue and she's not going to play for the first time all year. So for Coach Leffler, he's hoping it's not a step forward and then a step back because you lose your floor general. Todd right to the basket, first taken quickly going to the line for Tiana Todd, the sophomore from Ontario. So we set it off the top of the show. It's 10 points in seven consecutive games after scoring single digits in her first two. The last two games specifically, five of nine from three, as you talked about, that three-point shot is just crucial for what Boston College wants to do offensively if they can find some consistency And there, there was no mistake about it. The first seven games of their season, they just they couldn't hit from out there. Long-range shooting was the big nemesis for BC. All of a sudden, they go to Kentucky. I know it was a very disappointing loss last Thursday, but they started to shoot it well. That carried over to the Lowell win on Sunday. And perhaps not only just Tiana Todd, but the whole team, they get a little bit more confidence because of those two. First opportunity for UMass, Kristen Williams, the junior, has two. Out of San Diego, played a year at Pensacola State College before coming to UMass last year, one of the returners, but just under five minutes a game a season ago. Octavia Wagner going against Williams. Good size advantage there for Boston College. And Wagner has the first field goal for the Eagles. Yeah, you said it just right. Took advantage of the size mismatch. A little stronger than Kristen Williams as well. Eagles putting on a little bit of press. UMass broke it. Bellamy underneath. Kicks out for Williams. And her three is good. Early five points for Kristen Williams, who came in third in the Atlantic 10 and three-point makes with 19 so far this year. Well, she shoots a lot of them, Eric. You're going to make some. She's taken 63 pointers coming into today through nine games. We're but, watching her warm up, too. Yeah. She was shooting almost from the <laughs> logo. I thought she was going to stand next to us and see if she could make one. Okay, a Sidbury, six to shoot. Good run by Sidbury. Eagles are certainly trying to get the ball inside early. Oh, a 6-5 start for Boston College. I thought it was interesting. You, you never know sometimes with a three-point shot. Sometimes it depends on the defense you're playing, what the case might be. But UMass had taken a ton so far this year we mentioned it with Williams but just overall as a team but they only took eight against Yale they were pretty efficient there's a good take again it's all been inside for Boston College right now yeah perfect three for three that was a gorgeous Euro step by Andrea Daly what a move there to go up score inside not travel that's a that's an experienced move for a junior Daly is averaging up over 16 points a game now and a very successful start to her junior season here at Boston College. Three-point launch is off the mark from Stephanie Kalesia, a junior from Wilmington, Delaware. Another one inside for Todd. I'll tell you what, Eric, Kayla Ivey is turning into just a great floor general. That's a great find from the point guard for BC. She's got the best assist to turnover ratio of anybody in the ACC thus far this year. And you can see why with those kind of passes. Germany, Map got around Todd. Good finish from Map. Well, you mentioned it with Ivy. Her last three games, she's averaging nearly 10 assists per contest, 9.7. Coach Mack felt like it was always in there. It was just about getting her on the floor. Missed all of last season due to injury. There's Daly inside. <laughs> She's been on a footwork display. The two buckets Andrea Daly's had. First a Euro step that time. Working in the post. Hard to score that way, the way that she just put that in without traveling. Good read by Sidbury. Keeps it alive on the baseline. And got help with Ivy to reset a bit. Good offense from both teams so far in this game, though that pass a little strong. Wagner finds it, but then slipping down. And a whistle comes out with 18 on the timer. Austin College, five for five from the floor so far. UMass, three for five. That was that pass from Kayla Ivey a few moments ago. Already a couple of assists. Bailey missed inside, and then a good job swatting it away. Bree Bellamy, the grad student, got her hand in there. 
first miss of the game for Boston College. Yeah, five for five starts. But you pointed it out. They were all right at the rim. Yep, everything inside. Those are the shots here. You should be five for five on. And it feels like that's where the success of this team and this group of players, really, if the Eagles are going right, is going to be. Their driving ability inside. That's a good rebound. Mm. Todd. Yeah, how about that? Among two minute women. Daly for three, and transition is good. And a timeout, UMass. And early seven points for Andrea Daly. The Eagles are six of seven from the floor to start this game at an early 15 to seven lead. Well, she scored twice inside. That time she takes it outside for the Eagles. Oh, I'm so glad we did this. I'm so glad we did this. I'm so glad we did this. Life is for living. Let's partner for all of it. I'm so glad we did this. Edward Jones. Why choose a Sleep Number smart bed? Because no two people sleep the same. Only Sleep Number smart beds let you each choose your individual firmness and comfort, your Sleep Number settings. It's so smart, it actively cools and warms up to 13 degrees on either side for your ideal sleep temperature and effortlessly responds to both of you for your best sleep night after night. And now save 40% on the Sleep Number Special Edition smart bed. Shop for a limited time and sleep next level. Only at Sleep Number. Bosch tools are built for workers. Bosch's powerful hammer drill has kickback control to help work go more smoothly when you need it. The two-in-one quickly changes between impact wrench and impact driver when you're slammed. And X-Lock switches wheels up to five times faster than standard grinders when you need to change tasks in a hurry. Bosch tools take care of the job and you. Bosch Tools, what hard workers deserve. Learn more at BoschTools.com. Natasha? Natasha? Is that how you say it? You look, uh... Wow. I mean, wow. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. Well, thanks, it's Old Navy. Wow. What'd you say? <laughs> oh, sick headphones. Mine barely work. Oh, these are great, you should get them. I know, I really need a new pair. Deal lovers, in. here's something new. Having good taste shouldn't cost you a good deal. And in this hut, $7 gets you both. The all new $7 deal lovers menu at Pizza Hut. Because it's only a deal if you love it. I'm coming in hot. What I feel in my heart during the Subaru Share the Love event, it's just so rewarding. We believe in love, not just our customers, but also our community. And the Subaru Share the Love event is truly an example of that. Over $285 million donated is phenomenal. It absolutely sets us apart from all other car companies. Right now, get a new Subaru, and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity. Get 2.9% APR financing on a new 2024 Outback during the 2023 Subaru Share the Love event. Well, a really good offensive start for Boston College, 15 to seven lead. Coach Mack was talking to us before the game about wanting to find that aggressive start. And they certainly have that today, following up 91 points on Sunday. Yeah, it was a great start to a five game homestand. Going over 90 and you see the field goal percentage. But today already six out of seven. Three of those field goals coming from their leading scorer. You see her on the screen, Andrea Daly. Great, great start for BC to build an eight point lead as UMass has gone into its bench. Yeah, Lily Talule, who we've talked about at the beginning of the show, comes in. Lily Ferguson, little handoff. Six foot three, Talule was stripped. Octavia Wagner has always been one of the best defensive players in the ACC and her ability to steal the basketball takes away another in the paint. Has come out with the touch of his own. Three-pointer. Todd is good. Boy, they're going in now. 
Seven for Todd, along with seven for Daly in the early going. Yeah, you can update that graphic you see on the screen now. Seven for eight. It's like target practice. That was a wide open look. Delule, good look inside for the first year center from Wellington, New Zealand. Coming off 13 points against Yale. One game after she scored 14 and five against Maryland. That'll earn you more playing time. Yeah. Right hand for Daly finds the friendly roll. Four field goals for Andrea Daly. Her footwork, I've said this a few times, really impressive here at the beginning of the game, going to the basket, attacking the rim. Advanced offensive moves. Coach Max talked about her potential as a player for quite a while now. That's taken away by Sidbury, leading the run out front. Taya Sidbury stops him going in the line. She wanted the and one. See the smile on Taya Sidbury's face. She's always got a smile. Coach Mack will have a smile soon if this keeps up. 11 point lead and eight of nine on field goals. I think the most impressive thing right now is the shots have been there for Boston College in the and they're just driving. They're continuing to do the same thing if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Uh, absolutely. And really, this started, as we discussed earlier, this started in the loss against Kentucky last Thursday. Heartbreaking two-point loss right before the buzzer against an SEC opponent on the road, but went up over 80 points. The shooting percentage started going way up in that game, and it's continued into the first couple of this homestead. See Lily Krashevets check in for the first time. There's Williams, her pull-up short. Fresh events, Eric, had the best game of her young burgeoning career on Sunday. Got in the double figures against Lowell. You saw some sparks early on in limited minutes, and as she's gotten more of an opportunity, I think she's gonna get more and more playing time for Coach Mack. Wagner got knocked down there, ends up just out of bounds and going back to UMass. Not like UMass has shot the ball poorly here, but there's another turnover, and those are starting to add up here. Boston College great at taking the ball away, and again, Dontavia Wagner gets to the line. And, and nobody's better in the ACC. Few are better in the nation at taking it away than that senior. Dontavia Wagner is averaging over three thefts per game. She's already got a couple of them here today. And those steals, those are the kind of easy transition opportunities that Coach Mack teams have feasted on for years. And it's one of the things that Mike Leffler has mentioned with UMass, that some of their turnovers, trying to cut down on those live ball turnovers. But here, Boston College just doing a good job taking the ball away. Two at the line for Wagner. She has four. It's a 24 to nine. Boston College lead over UMass. There's Lily Ferguson, two defenders there, and draws the foul. First foul on Boston College. Nice move here by the sophomore from Newington, Connecticut. Earning their self a trip to the line. Lily Ferguson keeps finding her way into the starting lineup for UMass. Because of injuries. It's now started games tonight in place of Tori Haidu. Started a game for Kristen Williams earlier, Germany map. So whoever's out, she's the first man up. It's now three of the last four getting the start. Haley right to the free throw line. Lacey had a bunch of traffic, so gives it out to Kayla Lozama, who's just into the game. Ivy settles seven to shoot. Lacey inside and an offensive foul. So you did a better job there packing the middle. And there was really not a lane underneath that the Eagles had exploited early on. Yeah, probably needed a jump stop here. Watch Bellamy get set, feet planted outside that restricted arc. Good call by the official. Apt 
tries to throw a fastball. It's out of bounds going back to Boston College. Keep talking about the offensive execution for BC and building this lead. They've only missed one shot of any kind. Eight of nine field goals, six of six free throws, two of two three-pointers. It's all going in. And they have gotten the shots they've wanted as well. Daly, six to shoot. Probably the toughest shot that the Eagles have had to take in the game, and it's off. Lule hands off. Dallas Pierce is fouled going inside with 142 remaining in this first. That was a tough one for Lily Kreshevets. She had to switch onto a guard there on the perimeter. It's hard to keep up with the foot speed of the littler players. Picks up that personal. Talking about Lily's game on Sunday. How about 11 points and four rebounds? Really nice to see her take advantage of the opportunity from what we've seen in smaller sample sizes. There's Talule with four points now, her second made basket for the first year. Yeah, nice touch. Let's see why she scored 14 points against a team like Maryland recently. They see inside, and again the foul. Fifth foul on UMass here in this first quarter. This feels like one of those for UMass. Obviously, the score is what it is right now, but the team's not going to shoot 80% for the whole game. So when that slight regression happens, are you still in the game? That's the biggest thing to kind of weather this for UMass right now. I and mean, even if Boston College went down to 60% for the game, right? You still have a little bit of that when you start 8 of 10 from the floor. Consider that fact, the shooting, the way it's been. Lacey has an empty trip. UMass actually is probably fortunate to only be behind 11. Yep. Could easily be 15 to 20. There's the three ball that's short from Pierce. That was Pierce who figured just seven minutes last time out against Yale. Now they're gonna need more from her tonight without Tori Hajduk. Really only got three available players coming off the bench. Azama three ball. Good luck. Offensive rebound for Lacey, but then lost the handle on it. Sidbury nearly had a reach, but it's kept alive. Three ball for Map. It's good. Germany Map. Five points. And that brings UMass back within eight with 23 seconds remaining here at the end of the first. It's a seven nothing run here for UMass over the last, it's about three minutes of game time. Yeah, BC doesn't have Kayla Ivey in there for the final possession. Wagner had to get that off, may have had another second with four on the timer. Uh, that will do it at the end of the first quarter. So, Mike Leffler, who was on the staff at UMass under Tory Verde from 2018 through the end of last year before getting his first opportunity to be a head coach. Been around New England quite a bit. Was a longtime assistant at BU for 10 seasons. Also three seasons as an assistant at Northeastern as well. And he's an alum of Boston College, right. actually. This is where he got his undergrad start, right here on the Heights. Bit of a homecoming for him here yeah. today. Coming across the Mass Pike a couple hours. Octavia Wagner tried a little back cutting pass to Todd. It was taken away. Eagles still do not have a field goal in a while after their red hot start. It's their last five from the floor, but they're oh. continuing to take the ball away. <laughs> Look at Wagner. So they've been able to maintain the lead. Ivy, nice pass. Todd inside. Beloder just rolled off. But Sidbury with an offensive rebound. Then Wagner, third effort, and a fourth try goes. 
The extra effort inside from Dontavia Wagner. Answered at the other end by Kristen Williams, who's off to a nice start with seven points. And Boston College had missed six straight shots before Wagner's putback went in. That looked like a foul there. Sidbury got pushed right in the back. And ended up being a help ball. Yeah, jump. Letting him play. Gotta love the stick to though, of Dontavia Wagner on that previous basket. She gets a well-deserved breather here. That was the definition of if at first you don't succeed. Yep. Ivy passed up the three, comes back inside. Great look for Daly. And assist number four already in this first half for Kayla Ivy. Always seems like she makes the right pass. Not always flashy, but when you make the right play, you're going to reward your teammates. Everybody's the better for it. Nice up and under move by Germany Map, who has seven. So UMass has only had four players who've scored in this game, but they've all been pretty good. Map with seven, Williams with seven. Eagles have actually only had four players as well. Here's Sidbury, one of them. He couldn't find another. It started with Kayla Ivy making a great pass yet again. Shot clock winding down. It's the previous one. Nice dime there to Andrea Daly. Perfect bounce pass. As you said, her fourth assist already. Daly inside, right off the inbounds pass. Stephanie Kalegia had the rebound. In transition, Ferguson was falling back, so kind of had to get rid of that ball, and it's knocked out of bounds by Tiana Ta. It's like somebody flipped a switch. All those shots at the rim that were going in for BC in the opening five or six minutes. Now none of them are. Certainly been more difficult and tighter defensively inside as well from UMass. And a Todd called for the foul. DC started eight for nine. Two for 11 since. They've still been able to maintain the lead. It's 10 right now. It's been as much as 15 earlier, 24 to nine. Look at Daly follow Williams all the way out to the logo. Good Williams job inside. by Daly. Yeah, that's really good defense. And, and she remembered the scouting report there on Kristen Williams, who will shoot it from anywhere. Ivy, a little no-look pass, and Sidbury traveled. Not as comfortable out there on the three-point line for Taya Sidbury as she is on the interior. A little shuffle before she put a dribble down. Five turnovers now for Boston College. Those are starting to creep up a little bit. I had a feeling that UMass is really only another made shot or two away from really being in this game. Well, that's what we've talked about, right? I mean, the lead was 15. They got it to eight once. Otherwise, it's been right around here at 10, 11 points. That's a good read by Lacey. Knocked out of bounds. As Kalesia tried to go cross court. Sidbury with the sixth Boston College steal of this first half. Yeah, that defensive intensity, that's been there and it has not waned from the opening jump. Another great possession there for all five defenders. <laughs> Ivy for three, that was off. And out of bounds, it'll go to UMass. They tried to put Kayla Ivy in a pick and roll with Tiana Todd. Ivy took the shot instead of passing. 
definitely part of the year off due to injury rust that accompanies that. While she's been distributing so well, her jump shot just have fully come back. Almey's jumper no good. There's no doubt when you have an injury like that, it's a year out, but then there's a whole nother amount of time to get comfortable again. She's managed to help the offense in really what she needs to be, which is the point guard for this Boston College team. And you figure the shots will start to come as Alesia inside with her first two. Just as you said, it's an eight-point game right now. 450 remaining in this first half. A 6-6. The opening half of the second quarter, so it seems playing pretty much even right now. Lower scoring second to what we had in the first. Lacey kicks out. Ivy three ball strong. Wagner with an offensive rebound. Right back up and is fouled. So Dontavia Wagner will go to the line when we come back. Eagles with an eight-point lead over UMass here in middle second quarter. This holiday season, find your healthy at Sprouts Farmer's Market. Farm fresh, organic ingredients, healthy essentials, and unique offerings. Find an endless array of high-quality products perfect for any dietary lifestyle. Craft your comfort amidst the chaos and find your healthy this holiday season at Sprouts. And Doug. And Doug says you can customize and save hundreds on car insurance with Liberty Mutual. He hits his mark center stage and is crushed by a baby grand piano. Are you replacing me? With this guy? Customize and save with Liberty Biberty. He doesn't even have a mustache. Oh, look, a Bibu. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Uh-oh. It's the Southeast Mini Golf Mixer Champs. Do anything cool this weekend? Mark. Mark. I just stayed in. That's cool. Yeah. Cleveland or South Beach? Be the real you. Little man. Yeah. Why are you always trying to one up me, bro? Me? I thought she was the number one son. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But did you remember to buy the coffee maker from mom, though? Once again, way ahead of you. Yeah. But I found a better deal. Wait, how? Shop with Google, little bro. about Boston College, even when the shooting has kind of come back to earth a little bit, they're so good defensively at creating turnovers, it's kept them out to this league. Yeah, and this package we're showing you, this is all two players, Octavia Wagner and Taya Sidbury, and just great ability to disrupt and take the ball away defensively. I mean, when you're stealing the ball like that, some of that looks like grand theft larceny. You're just giving your team all these extra possessions you wouldn't otherwise get. Both of them doing a great job helping deny UMass. And the Eagles have been really good at the free throw line today. Nine of 11 now from the stripe after that Wagner man. What's oh, a travel backcourt there by Cheneye Udenikpo. Ene and Jai into the game for Boston College, putting some pressure on. 
Wagner quickly back up the floor. And the pull-up's good. So nine for Dontavia. That was tipped away, nearly another turnover. Oh, it's out of bounds, so stay here with you, Max. And I don't think you can overestimate the fact that against this pressure and all these steals BC is creating, they don't have their point guard. Corey Hajduk would be the one that would normally be able to settle things down a little bit for the minute women. She's injured tonight. Feed inside, good luck to get in there for Odin Igbo, the first year from Walpole, Massachusetts, who made her debut last time out against Yale after missing the beginning of the season due to injury. That's a nice piece to have back for UMass. Tied right to the basket. Those were the shots that not just were falling, but the Eagles were getting earlier that built out the lead. Well, you saw Odin Igbo score on one end, but then on the defensive side, Tiana Todd had her eyes light up. She said, I'm driving right past her, and she did. Take it away again. Todd with a good read, but nearly stripped back. The foul is called as Odin Igbo reaching in from behind. Watch this matchup here. Todd versus a six foot five inch Odin Igbo. And she says, straight line drive, here I go. Right to the rim. She just seems more confident out there right now with choices offensively. And with a good pass as well, and it sends Sidbury to the line. They're picking on Janaye, the freshman. That time ran a play inbounds underneath. And it was her player, Sidbury, who cut right to the basket around her. It'll happen, right? Odin Igbo's only, as you said, played in one game in her college career prior to tonight, so she's learning on the job. Played her high school ball at Noble and Greeno right down the road. Pretty good size that Coach Leffler can bring in off the bench. With Taulule, I beg your pardon, and Odin Igbo. Each well over six feet. Figure that'll serve them well in the Atlantic 10. And trying right here, good example of it. Four points for Odin Igbo. Yeah, that's taken away. A chance to get back within 10 for UMass, but good strip by Daly threw it back in. UMass is back on it. And Pierce's two-point jumper is short. Odin Igbo follows and is fouled. So it looked like Boston College had created the steal, and it was going back the other way, but UMass ends up finding it. And two free throws coming up. Coming right into your living room there, Andrea Daly. Odin Igbo finds her way to the free throw line here. This is uh, an impressive freshman. Boy, did they miss her the first eight games of the season when she wasn't healthy enough to be out on the court. Those season averages you see on the bottom left, that's just one game. And in only 16 minutes. It's a Massachusetts first team all state selection last year. Missed two at the line. Like we've been at about a 10 point game or an eight point game basically the whole way in the second quarter. Daly got her defender up in the air, short on the long two. Pretty though. Good pump fake. Bought herself a very makeable mid range jump. And that is thrown away. Lule's back in there, had to come out with two fouls, so sat for a good portion of the second quarter. Mike Leffler will try to give her some run with 2.08 remaining in this first half. Okay, you've also got Stephanie Kaledja with those two fouls, so kind of pick your poison. One of them probably has to be in, and now it is Talule. That was off from Daly.
But for Tolule against Kresho Betts, who's just back into the game for Boston College. Wagner read it. <laughs> Nearly made the play. She did. Yeah, that's on UMass. I've had another steal for Dontavia. Look at this anticipation. She, she's so good at beating you to the spot when she's on defense, and that's antithetical to the way it's supposed to be. The offensive player is supposed to get there first. But Dontavia anticipates so well, it, it, she's better at getting to the ball than sometimes the player whom the pass is intended for. That was the second foul on Kristen Williams as well. So Williams, Tolule, and Kalesha now all have two fouls for UMass. That was Wagner's fourth steal of the half. Eagles have seven as a team. Seven to shoot for BC. Lacey goes to work. Fall away, jump for good. Jojo Lacey on the board for the first time tonight. Quickly down the floor though, UMass, good answer from Germany map. Right. Can't celebrate your jump shot. Jojo Lacey tried to hustle back there and make it a more difficult opportunity for Germany map, but she had already beaten her to the rim. Kick to Ivy. Nine to shoot. Lacey, a three ball. It's good. Well, JoJo's shot has started to come along here recently. Last two games, five of 14 from behind the arc after starting two of 27 from the year. And looked good on that three-pointer, one for two so far today. This is basically the largest the Eagles lead has been since it was 15 early. And a steal. Three seconds. Is there a shot to get off? And an offensive foul with 1.2 remaining of that. Well, you got to give the William and Mary grad transfer Bree Bellamy a lot of credit. She took a shot to the chops getting back there on Andrea Daly, who's coming at her like a freight train. Bellamy's taken a couple of charges in the opening half for UMass. As you can see, she has some battle scars to show for you. And this is the second foul on Daly, so we'll watch that. But the Eagles will take a 41 to 28 lead. The Eagles had been earlier on. We start half number two, same way half number one went. Steal for Boston College. And Wagner getting inside. Daly got it at the foul. If that isn't this game in a nutshell, just personified in 15 seconds. You didn't see the beginning of it on that replay, but it was, what do you know, Dontavia Wagner just doing her thing defensively. Five steals for Wagner. I'm not kidding, Eric. She's got a chance to get the double-digit steals in this game, the way things are going. Her ability to read the plays has been so impressive on the defensive end. So even despite the fact that both teams kind of struggled a little bit shooting from the floor, Eagles built on the lead a touch, and now 44 to 28. Three ball is off the mark from Williams. MDC back on the run. Wagner, nice drop pass. Todd waits and scores. And the foul. Unselfish basketball for Boston College. Watch this fast break. Daly. Ivy, Wagner, and the collect, and one for Tiana Todd. Four of the five players on the floor touch the ball there, and really in the blink of an eye, and they have a chance for three. UMass will make his sub here as Dallas Pierce comes in. That was the third foul on Kristen Williams. You were talking about it at the end of that second quarter, how it felt like it was about an eight to 12 point game the whole quarter. All of a sudden now, BC final five of the second, first six of the third, and they got a 19 point lead. That was very quick. That's a 10-2 run right now for Boston College. 
Here is Ferguson inside, short on a pretty good take, but read that her shot was short and puts the put back in. Four points for Ferguson. Sidbury tries, good take inside for Taya Sidbury. Nine all, points for her. They're also scoring at the rim again, the way they started the first yeah. quarter, Eric. Three buckets all right at the hoop. Layups, really, to start three for three. Three-pointer, he's shot, rebound right down to Wagner. In transition, Daly again got it in a foul. Up to her season average now at 16 points as it forces a UMass timeout. Well, first it was Taya Sidbury going to the bucket for the third layup. And now watch this pass by Kayla Ivey. Beautiful. Four layups in the opening about 90 seconds of the third quarter, and UMass calls timeout. All of a sudden, you've got a 21-point lead. You're about to go viral, but it's not so bad, even if you'll forever be known as the hashtag dad. Just remember to take life one spoonful at a time and go. Go to your safety place. Bosch tools are built for workers. Bosch's powerful hammer drill has kickback control to help work go more smoothly when you need it. The two-in-one quickly changes between impact wrench and impact driver when you're slammed. And X-Lock switches wheels up to five times faster than standard grinders when you need to change tasks in a hurry. Bosch Tools take care of the job and you. Bosch Tools, what hard workers deserve. Learn more at BoschTools.com. Oh, sheets. Don't let this sheet happen to you. Get LG, America's most reliable line of home appliances. Three years running. You can count on LG appliances, we swear. Gifting. Go finding. The love that goes into a Subaru comes out when Subaru and our retailers share the love. 116,000 animals supported. 3,300 wishes granted. 4.3 million meals provided. And over 400 national parks protected. Be a part of something bigger. Get a new Subaru during the Share the Love event, and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity. Get 2.9% APR financing on a new 2024 Outback during the 2023 Subaru Share the Love event. Well, Boston College has really started to push here, and it's kind of the same formula to start this third quarter that we saw at the beginning of this game back in the first quarter. Took the words right out of my mouth. Everything at the basket. Deanna Todd on the end one. He has Sidbury layup. And then right before the timeout, Ivy, great pass. Andrea Daly with a chance at an old-fashioned three-point play. You're going to make four straight shots a lot when they look like that. They're just layups. And a great, I would imagine, job of the coaching staff at halftime saying, hey, let's go back to do what worked for us. And they've beaten UMass down the floor, so it's been less having to run that half-court offense. Offensive rebound and a held ball off the free-throw miss. Possession will stay here with Boston College. Talule comes back into this game. Interesting to see here in the second half that Mike Leffler, even with the fouls, which are less of an issue now that we're in the second half, kind of just rides Talule, rides Kalaja to see what might happen. And inside once again by Octavia Wagner. <laughs> it's a good formula. You don't need to divert from something that's working that well. Time Wagner just wide open right at the basket. Now, if you're a coach and you can get a shot like that, you sign up for it 100 times out of 100. Good ball movement, too. This time it's Todd with the dish for Dontavia Wagner. And you kind of saw that was a really good look at how many black jerseys kind of collapsed 
which left the pass open, but you still got to read it. Todd certainly did so. Second assist for Todd. Wagner to the painted area, kind of forced one up with three on the timer. Twelve two, Boston College has outscored UMass to start this third quarter. Another early that time. Still by <laughs> Wagner. Yeah, she said, I, I should have had it. Three on the shot clock, keep that in mind. That was another great defensive possession from the get-go, though, by BC. Very connected, switched on everything. Ready to shoot, Pierce got to get it off. It was well short, and a shot clock violation against UMass. Not all shot clock violations are created equally, but that one, Eric, that, that's one you earned. From the moment that UMass brought it into the front court, Boston College defense didn't give them an inch. Todd for three. Good looking shot from Tiana Todd. It's up to 15 points. You can see the confidence in her jump shot has grown by leaps and bounds, really, even from just a month ago when the season started. The last three games in particular, Tiana Todd shooting it as well as any player, perhaps, in the ACC. I don't know that that's a hyperbolic statement at this point. Well, it's three games in a row with 15 plus points as she gets to 15 now. She is two for two from behind the arc today. So that's now seven for her last 11 over the last three games. Thank you for backing up my points. Here we go. I'll slip you a five. I'll thank the numbers <laughs> as they actually work this time. <laughs> Uh, I'm glad I, you got my I've back, partner. I've had less success, but that time you, <laughs> you were on it. Held ball possession will stay here after Kaleja goes one for two at the line. A little bit of fouls kind of added up, but part of the other thing here for a UMass team that's trying to find their scoring, DC has held Kaleja to three and Tolule to four points. And add a couple more, though, for Lily Tolule. He's up to six. Really impressed with her offensive skill. That was a beautiful move. The fake, the up, the under. Jojo Lacey with a nice cut to the basket. Speaking of up and under, scoop to the hoop. It's a little underhanded shot with a right hand. There she is again. You started to see it. Right, we've talked about 14 against Maryland, 13 against Yale, so it's coming for Tallulah, but I think that's gonna be more and more of where UMass wants to go with their offense as the season goes on. Uh, they're looking for someone to, boy, good shot fake. Oh, Sidbury, this is an offensive clinic. BC is eight of nine to start each half. How about that? They were eight of nine to start the first quarter, eight of nine to start the third quarter. Back to what they did in that early good start, getting it inside. But UMass doing the same thing now. That's Kaleja who's up to five. He's up to 32 points in the paint. I was talking about UMass before that last great basket by Taya Sidbury. They got to replace Sam Breen who was a generational talent for their program. The headliner in a group of players that brought them to three consecutive postseasons. Sam Breen really almost single-handedly yeah. brought the Minute Women program to prominence. You, you look at what the potential of Tolule is, freshman from New Zealand, and she may be the candidate to try to carry that mantle that Sam Breen vacated. Did just pick up 
the foul there, so that's three on Tallule. Held ball off of the missed free throw, and again, possession to Boston College. Zama for three. Good! Off of Kayla Ivey's seventh assist, Lazama with her first basket of the night. It is, sorry, Jess, it's certainly not been the story because it hasn't had to be because of how good BC's been driving the ball, but they're now 5 of 10 from behind the arc. They're now 6 for 11. Just one upping their start to the first quarter. Told you eight of nine to start the first. How about 10 of 11 to start the third quarter? Red hot Boston College, Sidbury inside and out. Oh, wow. Big fan. Can I ask you a question? Let's go. OK, well, right now, I'm an extra. There's so many of you. Right, but I want to do more, you know what I mean? It's so clear. I'm thinking about going for lead zombie. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I know, because... Are you gaming on a Chromebook? Nice. Yeah. Good talk. Go ahead, break it down real low. Go ahead, break it down real low. Stop playing with it. Red light, green light, go. My daughter says she works in B2B where she sells SEO and MRM to CPGs. I, I don't know how this happened. She was speaking in complete sentences before she was two, and now she just mumbles all these alphabets. When I call her, she says she can't speak because she needs to check the CTR on an ESM, ASAP. I blame myself, but I should have been around more. Parents don't get B2B. LinkedIn does. And helping marketers reach over 70 million decision makers makes LinkedIn the place to be to be. What even is this? Don't touch my things, gross. Janice, when you bundle your home or renters with your auto, Progressive provides 24-7 protection for almost everything you own. But do you really need... My weighted hoop? It's for my snatched waist. It's my dog chase lounger. Foot treadmill. That's my Tuesday chalice. Purse that says purse. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy chamber. I can't live without oxygen. Solid gold coffee machine. Lake making kit. Really? Can Progressive cover that too? Yes, but... Hi, it's Janice. I'll take five. Is my voice on TV right now? Bosch tools are built for workers. Bosch's powerful hammer drill has kickback control to help work go more smoothly when you need it. The two-in-one quickly changes between impact wrench and impact driver when you're slammed. And X-Lock switches wheels up to five times faster than standard grinders when you need to change tasks in a hurry. Bosch tools take care of the job and you. Bosch tools, what hard workers deserve. Learn more at boschtools.com. Natasha? Natasha? Is that how you say it? You look, uh... Wow. I mean, wow. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. Well, thanks. It's Old Navy. Wow. What'd you say? Hey, deal lovers. Coming in. Here's something new. Having good taste shouldn't cost you a good deal. And in this hut, $7 gets you both. The all-new $7 deal lovers menu at Pizza Hut. Because it's only a deal if you love it. I'm coming in hot. Let's talk about the three-point shot a little bit. Again, it hasn't needed to be the main offensive piece for Boston College today, but, I mean, you look at where they've been. This was the last two games coming in. The number was starting to trend up, and then add six for 11 tonight on top of it. So a really good three-game stretch here from behind the arc. Yeah, you know, let's call it the way it is. Those first seven games, 20% as a team. You got only up to go, but... The fact that it's coming along the way that it is, it just makes this offense so much more dynamic and hard to stop. It's an easy team right now that's pretty much clicking on all cylinders. Coach Mack was pretty consistent when we talked about it in that she felt like the looks were okay. They were gonna start going and it was kind of just, you kind of have to keep shooting your way out of a slump and that's what happens with shooters sometimes. And 
Eagles credit, they've started to do that here of late. Tough angle shot, not there. Kayla Ivey, who assisted on both of those last two three-point looks from Uzama and Sidbury, up to eight now. Pretty close to her average. I think that's such a big part of it too, Eric, is you have a point guard who's always putting her shooters in the right spots, getting them on the part of the floor they want to shoot from. Ivy's been doing that exceptionally well. Wagner almost got her hand in again, then maybe did a second time and managed to affect the shot as well from Odin Igbo, and eventually the foul is going to be called. Bit of a hard fall at the end of it from Brie Bellamy. She's going to get the foul too, I think. <laughs> of all the, of all the hard yeah, right pieces there. of luck, Ooh. yeah, you get a foul and you get kicked in the face. And good hustle by Dontavia Wagner. It's not a steal; it's a rebound, and it gives her team possession yet again. Been a, a rough night for Bellamy. Remember, she took a charge at the end of the first half, got hit in the face. Now that one there from Wagner got hit up around the head. AC held her pivot foot just enough. Wagner double team comes still. Manages to fight her way through it. Who is that strength? You're right, double team, shot clock winding. Right off the glass and in. She's played a great game on both ends of the court. Alesia, good move inside. So Bigger impacts in this second half for Kalesia so far, along with Talule. Seven points now in the game. How do you like this stat line for Dontavia Wagner? 13 points, six rebounds, four steals, a couple of assists. How about some free throws coming up? Absolutely. You know, we made the point earlier about the points in the paint for Boston College, 32 of them so far, but. They've made 13 free throws, and almost all of them have come off fouls in the paint. So you could almost add 13 more points on top of that. And now 14. One. Now there's not a lot to nitpick about the effort of her team for Coach Mack tonight. Really, it's been a, a strong, thus far almost 30 minutes in every phase of the game. Offense, defense, the way you coach it. Lacey reaching, and that's out of bounds, staying here. Weathered the storm a little bit at the end of the first quarter into the second when the shooting started to fall off a little bit, but it's come back. Gotten back to driving the basketball inside. The foul, I think that'll go against Crash of Betts. Now Wagner a little bit. Actually, it was Wagner. Yeah, Wag Wagner was there a little early. Push. Ball by Teresa Stuck, our official. Another tie up here. Comes out to UMass, 10 to shoot. Williams will reset. Got all the way in and draws the foul. Now, one thing I think it's worth pointing out about UMass this season, as we've talked about, rebuilding team, a lot of young players, a lot of transfers. They don't have any home games, hardly. This is the sixth straight game they have played outside of Amherst. Went to Cancun. I feel bad for them to have to go to Cancun, but three tough games there, including Washington State and Maryland. They're only going to have played two home games. You can see there in the middle of your screen, two home games in the first five weeks of the season. 
You got a new coach, all these new players, and you don't have your familiar surroundings. Finally be back home on Sunday against UMass Lowell. You see, had a similar long time away from home. Went from November 12th to last Sunday, December 3rd without a home game. So Lacey, a little short of a jumper, and then commits the foul. It's only the second missed shot of the quarter for Boston College. 11 of 13. Might have been getting close to a program record for a quarter there. They've outscored UMass 30 to 13 in this third quarter. Ooh, that's a really nice move. We've seen a little bit of the potential here for Stephanie Kalesia. She's a good example of someone that, you know, Mike Leffler talked about, just didn't really have an opportunity last year because of how many players were ahead of her. So scored two and a half points a game in about 12 minutes, but a much more increased role. But they felt this was in there, and that potential is there's a good job by Lacey with a little up and under. Yeah, she was behind some really good players in her first three years playing at UMass. Had a red shirt in there as well. Now finally it's her turn. After those terrific players like Sam Breen leave. Leja, right at JoJo Lacey. Dipsy doo Alesia got an opening, slipped around, and the fastball was too tall. On a look to that corner three for Germany map. Probably should have shot it. The crash of Etz was lingering near the hoop. A lot of size, but she may have had a layup. Ava McGee's going to check in for Boston College. Coach Mack goes deeper into her bench. Ivy kicks, and Jai was too strong at the end of the third quarter. But it will be a 30. Boston College has played a bunch of pretty good teams in that stretch. We talked about it, how it almost felt like, even in the loss to Kentucky, there was some momentum coming out of that offensively. But this is the gain some confidence time. You got to take care of business in some of these non-conference games, but can you build confidence going into the gauntlet that is the ACC schedule? Remember, it felt like the Eagles did that last year, and they picked off some really impressive ACC wins early in the season. Those are back-to-back -back pretty good offensive performance that should do that for this PC team. Hey, it's a great point. Good bird. But she was going to fire it. I know she will. And huh. it's... She's waited to get it back from Kayla Ivey. Give her another assist. How about nine of them? Sidbury showing some touch with some three-pointers here in the second half. Eric, to your point, their schedules aren't done by accidents. The Boston College, five home games to end non-conference all throughout this month of December. And they want to do that coming off of the, the hard road trip they've been on, power six opposition. You get these games, and you're right. You want to feel good about yourself going into the new year. Here's Ava McGee in there for the first time to start this fourth quarter off of the Kalesha make. And again, who knows how much closer this might have been, but it does feel like it would have been a touch of a different game if Kalesha and Tallulah did not get into foul trouble early in that end of the first beginning of the second quarter. All right, so Thea Sidbury just posting up in that left corner right in front of her bench. It's got to be the most fun spot on the court to make a jump shot from because your teammates are right there behind you. That or in front of an opposite student section, perhaps. <laughs> Depending on where you are. 
That was always J.J. Reddick's thing, right, at Duke? That's right. He fed off that. Yep. Sid Barry trying again. A little short that time. But Each Ferguson can't hold the rebound, so out of bounds, it'll stay here. Oh, right, Eric. Heat check. Mateo Sid Barry. Coach Mack mentioned she's building a little more confidence from out there. Well, she doesn't have the prettiest of jump shots. It's not the, uh, the form that you would teach in an instructional video, but it always has worked. She was the all-time leading scorer in the history of the state of Utah in high school. That doesn't happen by accident. Played her freshman season for Utah last year. For 11 minutes, she averaged five points a game. Coming in here to Boston College. Williams, step back three. Bad look from Williams, who made a couple of big ones early. Has been quieted down in this second half. Sidbury all the way inside and got it. That is 10 assists now for Kayla Ivory. She is averaging 10 assists in her last four games. Yeah, four games span to go double digits in helpers. It's impressive, and that pass how many times have we seen her throw a pass at least half the length of a court right on the money? Speaking of right on the money, Germany map through the contact. Dyser sees it high with 11 points. Can try to extend it at the line. Test there from Andrea Daly. A little piece of the arm on the release. No problem for Germany. Hampton transfer. Averaged eight points a game last year in 29 minutes. Three-year player at Hampton. A lot of newcomers for this UMass team this year. Ten of them. With six coming in as transfers. Ivy, good Ooh. pass. Crash of Vets, maybe a little strong. As Jai was already starting to drive. And Kayla Ivy's going to tell Lily Crash of Vets, shoot it. Coach Max says that Lily might be the second best passer on the team behind Kayla Ivy. But Ivy just threw it to her in such a good spot. I think she would have just as soon her take the shot herself. She's trying to get Ivy a hockey assist. <laughs> Normally, you're never upset as a coach at players being unselfish. <laughs> Sometimes you, you say, hey, you, you know, you can you can shoot too. Part of the process of coming over as a first-year player. Played for the Hungarian national team through U16, through U20 for the last three seasons. Bunch of international flavor, really have both of these rosters. Todd on the drive. That's a really good job by Lily Tolule. Speaking of international, affecting that shot. I see a lot of players come to the United States from New Zealand on the hardwood. That is the captain of Team Asia Pacific. There's a good pass by Kreshevets. And Lazama steps back and knocks down the three. Her second triple. Certainly made the right pass that time. Coming out of the post and right out to the perimeter. Going back, we talked about the unique journey of Lily Tolule coming to Amherst. Was captain of the team Asia Pacific. In from New Zealand, as you mentioned. It's huge rugby country. And that, that's a religion. Rugby is over in that 
part of the world. You ever called rugby before? Never did. I, I take once. it you have. Yeah, I once at Harvard. Final score was 94 to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess he had a lot of time yeah. to fill. <laughs> Our uh, good friend Luis Sanchez called a lot of rugby at Harvard this year. So. Fun sport to watch. How is your terminology? I don't know if I'm the person to ask that question, but. <laughs> you, you would have nice. to do some homework. And I was more concerned about adding up the points. That particular. All is on the ground, picked up by UMass. That was Oda Nigbo. Showing some good hands there to get the steal in the post. And a nice turnaround. Again, I understand what the score is right now, but you're seeing a little bit of the potential for what I think UMass has a chance to be with some of these inside players between Tallulah, Kaleja, and Oda Nigbo as she gets back and healthy. Remember, missed basically a, a whole month and a half of her first season in college. Yeah, I totally agree, and even in a more macro sense, moving forward for the next two, three, four years. Seth Perry's got another one from deep. That ties your career high with 22 points. But on a shooting display here in the second half. And how about nine of 16 from three point range for Boston College? Eagles are nine of 16 from behind the arc tonight. An 84 to 54 lead over UMass. Marshall's buyers travel far and wide to hustle the best deals on amazing holiday gifts. So you don't have to. We get the deals. You gift the good stuff. This is Cassie. She never really paid attention to her credit scores until she got Credit Karma and used her scores to score more, like her first ride. When it was time to upgrade, she shopped around for a lower auto insurance rate to go with it. Even when she decided to blaze a new trail, Credit Karma helped her with an auto loan to get her where she was going. Where is she going? Into a Credit Karma. Download the free money app where your hard work pays off. At Bombas, we make the comfiest socks, underwear, and t-shirts that feel good and most of all, do good. Because when you purchase one, we donate one to those in need. With 100 million donated so far, that's a whole lot of good. And good, and good, and good. This holiday season, everyone deserves a little good. Visit Bombas.com and get 20% off your first purchase. Bombas, give the good. Baby, don't forget, it's the holidays. Give me something sweet, let's celebrate. A little bit for me, a little bit for you. No need to be A little bit for me, a little bit for you. Women's College Hoops on the networks of ESPN. What I feel in my heart during the Subaru Share the Love event, it's just so rewarding. We believe in love, not just our customers, but also our community. And the Subaru Share the Love event is truly an example of that. Over $285 million donated is phenomenal. It absolutely sets us apart from all other car companies. 
Right now, get a new Subaru, and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity. Get 2.9% APR financing on a new 2024 Outback during the 2023 Subaru Share the Love event. Well, what a nice performance from Taya Sidbury today. Ties her career high with 22 points, 7 of 10 for the floor, and knocked down three from behind the arc. And she started by scoring on the inside, but here in this second half, she's showing her game from the perimeter. Left corner three. There's that basket inside here early in the fourth. And right before we went to break, she hit her third three-point shot of the evening en route to 22 points and a rest on the bench, you would imagine, for the final four minutes. Well-deserved. Confident offensive showing from Sidbury, from Todd, from Wagner, from Daly. Second foul there on Oda Nicol. Oh, and this is just game two of the five game homestand that Boston College is going to have. So they've performed extremely well against the UMass schools, Lowell and Amherst. See a couple of dominant, dominant wins. Chance to go over 90 points offensively in each of them. And then, Eric, you still got three more coming up here at home before you get into the New Year's and ACC play. A chance to keep building on this, the way the schedule's set up. Eagles start ACC play on New Year's Eve night. Out at Cameron Indoor Stadium against Duke. Back with you on Sunday. That's a noon start on Sunday for Boston College and Siena. Have it for you right here on ACC Network Extra before the 11 a.m. start against Stone Hill on the 12th. Yeah, I was going to say, you're going to need coffee for these. A couple of broadcasts for these PC games, noon and 11. Need coffee for the 7 o'clock games. Too, <laughs> but... Good job by Lacey. It's a bigger coffee issue. Well, <laughs> That Lacey Past here, watch 23 this. 23 Duncans on the ride in. How can you not stop? <laughs> Just add a steal onto the ledger tonight for BC. They're 11th if they give credit for it on the stat sheet. They should. 21 points off turnovers today for BC, but it's really been almost less about that and more about just taking opportunities away from UMass, especially early on during that stretch in the second quarter where the Eagles were struggling a little bit from the floor, but UMass really couldn't get their way back in because of how well the Eagles were playing defensively and stealing the basketball. Yeah, that's been the consistent. Offense has come and gone at times, and that happens with any team. But if you keep playing hard defensively on the other end of the court for 40 minutes, you're going to be in every game, just about. I think they'll be very pleased with the defensive effort, really throughout the entire four quarters tonight. Eva McGee getting a chance to score again. Sophomore who still working her way back after missing a couple of games earlier this year. And another steal, JoJo Lacey. Three minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter tonight. And Boston College on their way to a big win. And Chai is fouled by Germany Map. How excited is UMass going to be to finally have a home game coming up? Talking about it several minutes ago as they get ready to face Lowell on Sunday at the Mullins Center. Good fight by Ava McGee here in these last couple possessions. She's going to the free throw line again. It's the fifth foul, by the way, on UMass. So BC will shoot the rest of the way here in the fourth. This will be the big question for Boston College again. Now they were 9 of 17 from three. I mean, they were really amazing. So, but it still didn't feel like that was quite the story. 
because of how well they were able to get inside. But you look at the way the numbers work out. So it's 36 points in the paint for Boston College. But add on to that, as we talked about, 20 made free throws, many of which developed from in the paint. So that game plan offensively, which we've seen now over the last couple of games, and can they continue that? against some of the bigger teams when they get into ACC play. That's kind of the next question for this group to go along with as they hope that three-point shot. I think Chris and Williams took a shot to the chops here, which is why they stopped the play after that jumper by Tolule. Yeah, I think that's the question. Look, but BC, Eric, they challenged themselves back in November non-conference, went on that five-game trip all against Power Six competition. So they faced bigger teams than they're seeing here in these non-conference home games. And those were learning lessons. But you're right, that, it, that will be the, the issue. Nice little look inside. McGee and Lacey working well together. JoJo Lacey up to 11 points. How yeah, about back-to-back -back games over 90 points as a team? The UMass State system really helping Boston College's <laughs> offensive averages this year. <laughs> they played extremely well. 91 against Lowell. And now have exceeded it. Woo. That was... Uh, that for a pretty move by Nene and Jai. Up and under, duck in. Get her first points of the evening. And the steals have stood out as well. Under a minute remaining. Avery Childers comes in for the first time for UMass. Freshman from Clarksburg, West Virginia. If you're wondering, well, Preshevets gets a layup for point number 95. And now she's on the scoreboard. Might be wondering, well, why doesn't BC put in some more players? They don't have any more players to put in who are healthy and eligible. Short bench again at the moment for Coach Mack. And a final foul at the end called against Boston College. All the starters are out at the moment. Got big contributors like Lacey still in there. So for the Eagles today, it'll finish up. Sid Berry's the leading scorer with 22. Todd and Daly with 17 and Wagner with 15. Five in double figures, including Lacey's 11. From a UMass perspective, we were talking about it just a few moments ago. You can see the building blocks are there for what Coach Leffler and his team hope will be the, the next successful group. And I really think it starts with the freshman bigs in Tolule and Odenigmo. They're learning how to play at this level, but they could be really, really good in the Atlantic 10, I think. Maybe even as soon as this year. One more jousting for the rebound. And that will shut off the timer with 18.1 seconds to go. Well, Odin goes against David McGee. Yeah, she's gonna get some free throws out of this. Each team's in the bonus. You don't want to be one and nine. It's never the way that you want to start a season. Not the way you want to start your head coaching tenure. But it's been a very difficult schedule. I know I keep harping on it, but very few home games. They've only had two of them. Things should get better because of the, the way that Mike Leffler and his team have challenged themselves here in the opening month. They've also just been playing a lot of games in terms of dates. So you finally, after this, lull and then 10 days for you, Albany, 10 days again before conference play opens. So chance to get some practice time and kind of reset here. So final seconds will come off. Boston College 
puts up a season high, 95 points, and the Eagles are a winner, 95 to 57 over UMass.